Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. I'm so glad to have you join me today. Thank you for being here, for pressing into God's presence with me, and for your hunger to hear what the Lord is saying to his people in this season. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. Welcome to the family of God. Welcome to this beautiful community. You have come to a place where we are committed to working in the fullness of God's plans and promises. We are a family, a community of believers who are passionate about seeking God's face, listening for his voice and responding to his call with courage and with faith. I pray that today's message will speak directly to your heart and that you will be encouraged and that you will be strengthened in Jesus' name. God bless you. Let's say a quick prayer before we jump into today's message. Thank you, Father, for today. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of today, for the gift of your word, for the opportunity to come into your presence, to hear from you. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your faithfulness that never changes. Thank you for the breath in our lungs and for the opportunity, Lord, to hear and to share your word. What a privilege it is. We acknowledge this and we're saying thank you. Father, we ask for forgiveness for any sin that may hinder us from receiving all that you have for us today. Whether we have sinned in thought, in word, in deed, Cleanse us, Lord, and purify our hearts. Prepare us, Father, to receive your word with open hearts and willing spirit today. Father, remove every distraction and every doubt. Use me, Lord, as your vessel, as your mouthpiece. Let your word flow through me like living water, bringing life, bringing hope, healing to your people. May every word spoken today be from you and you alone, and may it accomplish what you desire in the lives of your children. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. As I spend time in God's presence today, I saw a vision of someone who seemed deeply afraid. I asked the Lord what was causing this fear. And I heard a single word in my spirit. I heard the word weekend. The Lord began to show me that there is someone who feels an intense fear as the weekend draws near. It is a fear that has become like a shadow following them as the week progresses. And it's been growing darker and heavier with each passing day. I sense that this fear is tied to something specific, a painful memory, a difficult situation, or maybe a struggle that becomes more intense over the weekends. Maybe it's a sense of loneliness that overwhelms a reminder of a loss or a fear of facing something unknown. It could be anxiety about what lies ahead. But then I heard the Lord speak clearly. I heard the Lord say, this weekend will be different. The Lord says, this weekend will be a different one. God is proclaiming something new over you, something powerful for the person this word is intended for. The Lord is saying that what has been will not be anymore. The Lord says what has been will not be anymore. The Lord says that the pattern of fear, of anxiety or dread that has held you captive is being broken. He's speaking peace into the very place where fear has tried to reign in your life. He's declaring that this weekend you will experience a shift a divine interruption, a breakthrough that will mark the beginning of a new season in your life. The Lord is saying that this weekend will not be like the ones before. Where there was fear, he's bringing courage. Where there was anxiety, right now he's releasing his peace. Where there was dread, he's speaking joy. The Lord is turning the tables in your favor right now. He's intervening in a way that will astonish you. 
that will cause you to marvel as, at his goodness and at his power. The Lord is saying, do not be afraid of this weekend, for I have gone before you. The Lord says he has gone before you. He's saying, I am making the crooked places straight for you. I am breaking down the walls that have kept you bound. In Isaiah 41 and 10, the Lord says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This is the promise God has given you today. He's given you a promise of his presence and support for you this weekend and even beyond the weekend. Psalm 34 and 4 says, I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears, all of them. Our God is a deliverer and he is faithful to answer when we call on him. He's delivering you from everything that has been making you afraid. Philippians 4, 6 to 7 reminds us, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, including what you're going through right now, including what is making you afraid right now. It says, by faith and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guide your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This scripture speaks directly to the promise of peace. Peace that will guide you even through this uncertain moment. Allow the scriptures that I've just read to soak into your spirit and remind you that you're not alone this weekend and even beyond the weekend. God is with you and is speaking a new word over your life right now. Is speaking a new word over your life today. This weekend will be different, says the Lord. I want to encourage you to receive this word with faith. Walk in it with boldness. Believe that God is doing a new thing in your life. Praise God. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you for speaking to us today. Thank you for the comfort that you provide. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I lift up every person who has been battling fear and anxiety, especially as the weekend approaches. I come against every spirit of fear. Every lie of the enemy that has tried to steal their peace and joy. I declare right now that fear is broken in the name of Jesus. I speak peace, the peace of God, the peace that passes all understanding over their minds, over their hearts, over their souls. I declare that your perfect love, which casts out all fear, will fill them to overflowing right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask that you surround them wherever they are right now. Father, surround them with your presence, that they will feel your arms of love wrapping around them, calming every storm within in the name of Jesus. Father, I speak courage into their spirit right now. I speak boldness into their hearts and clarity into their minds. I declare that this weekend will be different according to your word. That it will be marked by, by your peace, by your joy and your divine intervention. I pray, Lord, that you will give them a new perspective. That they will see this weekend not as something to fear, not as something to be afraid of, but as an opportunity to encourage counter your love in a deeper way in the name of Jesus. I declare right now, Father, that you are turning their mourning into dancing, their sorrow into joy, their fear into faith right now, their trials into triumph and testimonies. Let every plan of the enemy be canceled and let your purposes prevail in their lives. I decree that they will walk into this weekend with confidence, knowing that you are with them that you go before them and that you are fighting their battles. Thank you, Father, for what you are doing in their lives right now, for what you are bringing about right now, for the shift that is happening right now, for the end that you are bringing to everything that is causing them to be afraid in the name of Jesus. Thank you because the chains of fear and anxiety is broken in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the victory that is theirs in the name of Jesus. I declare that they will walk in freedom 
freedom. I declare that they will walk in peace and in the fullness of your promises. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.